most people will not understand what I'm doing in this tutorial. But if you can stay with me for a few minutes, you will understand. Browsers are important, especially if you live in countries where most of the websites are banned. If you live in places like Nigeria and India and Pakistan, Ghana, Kuwait, all these places, then it may be of interest to you. Let me show you everything. If you go to clickbank.com, most countries cannot open that. You also go to Digistore 24, most countries cannot open that. Then you can as well go to Redbubble. A lot of companies as well cannot open this. If you know these companies, please go to the comment section and say, yes, I know all these websites. The one you don't know, let me know. I'm going to show to you what will allow you open all of these websites in any country all over the world. This is textbroker.co.uk. You see, all these websites I'm showing to you, they are massive websites that can let you make money, but then you are in countries where it's not opened. Why is this so? The browser that you use. Over 90% of browsers online use Google Chrome, which takes in your data, it takes in, it cookies you, does everything just to make sure your location is exposed. But then most people switch to VPN. But as you know, if you want to use VPN, then you need the VPN that is paid to protect you. But here we are, there are browsers that are peculiarly made that can help you with hiding your location without necessarily buying a VPN and they are all free. This is my top five browsers you can use this year if you want your privacy to be secured. Okay, let me go to my favorite and show it to you. So my very first recommendation is Brave Browser. And then you can see on Brave, it says download Brave. Click on that to download Brave Browser. And then on here, you can see download Brave for Windows 64 bit. I click on that to download it. And we're going to tweak it a bit so that it will protect every of our privacy. And like I said, I'm going to show to you four more browsers that can also do the same thing. If you're on freelancing, for example, you can have all these four so that you can use it on different profiles. And that is how I use mine. And just as you can see here, Brave is fully downloaded. I just open it up here this way. And then it says, do you want this app to make changes to your device? Yes, I want that to happen. And then on your Macs. <laughs> I like the feel of that. And then we just wait. So it says, download is complete. Please wait while the installer is verified. So we just wait for that to verify. And now it's installing. And now Brave is fully installed. And if you look here, you can see it's opening. So it says, welcome to Brave. But that's not all. You have to set up this Brave. How do you do this? It says, this is the new internet let's go to set this up set your privacy make sure you set these settings now you can import bookmarks and settings if there's nothing to import just go to next and then it's saying you have to browse save and sound brave uses completely private product analytics to estimate the overall usage of certain features you can turn this off and on in your settings so now if we right click this and go to our settings which as well you can get to on this three toggle if you go this way and then you can now here customize everything about your privacy please go through this to understand how it works auto complete searches and url if you want that you turn it on and then this is telling you it's going to send some cookies and searches from the address bar and search bar to your default search you see that so if you don't do this it will not autofill which i don't advise you to do the whole essence is to private you and make sure that search engines does not cookie you so that places like clickbank and digistore will not block your paypal after you have opened so in order not to make this video to be too long just go through it you can see your security just set up on all of these and that's it but then let me show you one that is very important if you go to shields here like this and then just scroll down a bit you see cookie blocking when you block cookies your accounts will not be cookie that means it can be tracked so as you can see it says cookie blocking only cross site if you click on that you can do all like let everything be blocked you can disable it all together so depending on your choice and what you want to you know leave and block that is where you control that but only cross site is cool and this is how you go about things now this is not the only website that can do this for you let me tell you more you can also use what is called tor browser the same process I used in dealing with Brave is the same way you do. Tor is also good. You can go to download Tor project, which is Tor browser, T-O-R browser. You can use that as well. Also, you can use Aloha browser for PFC, which is another browser that secures your privacy. These are Tor browsers. They are fast. They are easy to use. They don't really cover enough RAM on your system. Not like they are going to overburden you like Chrome extension does. 
so you can use any of these as well also we have epic browser you can also use epic browser i have a tutorial about that i'm going to leave it in the description below epic browser used to be my favorite which i still use but then the installation process is a bit low but then i'll leave the link in the description below that can help you out with the installation so that you as well can use but brave is okay and that's not still all you can also use opera browser now the good news with opera browser is it has an embedded vpn okay let me show you how this is done on opera if i go over to opera and i can download that in a jiffy just go to opera download click on it and then it's going to download to your computer if you go back to your downloads you can see opera setup if i click on that now it's going to set up the opera but i'm going to show to you how to activate your vpn free vpn you don't have to pay anything on opera and it works the same as epic browser chrome browser and every other thing so here it says accept and install I accept and install i will just wait for a second and boom 100 percent done opera is installing for current user which is pastor blessing 2 and that's it and from there it launches the opera browser but that's not like i said you need to turn on your vpn so you can use this successfully and how do you do this go over to your settings this is the three toggle bar if i put that largely you click on this three toggle bar here and by the way, you can also use WhatsApp, Instagram, and everything on it live and direct that way. So all I have to do is I scroll down and you can see privacy and you see VPN. Then you see enable in settings. That's all you have to click. And then when you get to where the VPN is, it says, it says your connection speed might be affected. It's just a might. You say, I understand, which is cool. And then you see enable VPN. This is what you have to do to get going. If I turn this on now, then it tells me connect vpn to starting browser which you have to do enable default search engines by bypassing vpn which is good and then just leave it at that and that's it you are done with this now you have your vpn set and all other things you can go through to set based on your preferences and all and boom you are set your vpn is set so now you can see here on this side you can see the blue toggle vpn appearing on your search bar that's how to show you have your VPN. Now, if you can do all of this, if you have all these websites and you do not know where to make money from it, then it's almost a waste. I explained secret website that can make you money on an instant here. Click on it and start making money now. Let's go, let's go, let's go.